Hi, I'm Darnell Cox with Live Young Lifestyle, and today I'm going to talk about cellulite. The reason why I'm talking about this again is because 95% of women have cellulite, and the rare few, the 5% that don't have it, um, I suggest number one, you get your prescription glasses checked. Um, and number two, if you truly don't have any cellulite, even when you pinch your thighs together on behalf of all the rest of the women on the planet in all shapes and sizes, we hate you. So for most of us, we have to work on this. It does help if you lose a little bit of weight, but even the skinniest, most fit people on the planet still have cellulite, and here's why. Cellulite is caused from these fibrous bands that connect the bottom layers of your skin to the top layers of your skin, and there's fat in between. The problem is when those bands become very tight and the fat becomes a little bit inflated, you get like a mattress effect. So a lot of people call it cottage cheese thighs. Um, some people it looks like an orange peel. Some it's evenly distributed over your body, and then others they have like one big dimple here or one big dimple on their ass. So it just depends on how your fascia is, how that connective tissue is, um, and things like that, but there are ways to combat them. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. How do we reduce the appearance of cellulite? Because there's really no cure. I know it sucks, but you can reduce them to where you can't see it at all. And I'm gonna go through all the ways that I reduce my cellulite. And it's not just one. You can't just buy one potion or do one thing and think that all of a sudden you're gonna be cellulite free. It doesn't work like that. Just like it takes a lot of potions to make your skin great, it too takes many different kinds of treatments to actually reduce the appearance of cellulite. And so I'm gonna go through mine. Now, the, the one that is probably the least effective, but it still works when you combine it with other things, are cellulite creams. So, but creams really do work when you combine them with other things. And the main ingredient that you need to look for are retinoids, which as we know, help with a lot of different stuff, including cell turnover, um, and caffeine. So not only do you need to drink a little caffeine in the morning and your green tea or a little bit of your coffee, it also helps to put it on your skin because it helps reduce the appearance of cellulite. It's a natural diuretic. So anytime you're shrinking the amount of water retention that you have, you're reducing the way that your cellulite looks. So reduction in water retention equals reduction in the appearance of cellulite. So that's creams. The next one, which is a little bit more um, getting to the nitty gritty of like the cause of it is dry brushing. Now I did a whole YouTube video on dry brushing. After about a half hour of doing it, like right now my whole leg is kind of tingly. So I know that that's increased the circulation. It's working on that lymphatic drainage. It's helping with cellulite, thank God. So make sure that you click on the link and watch that video and I give a tutorial on how you do it. But this also helps reduce the appearance of cellulite by stimulating circulation, by lymphatic drainage, by helping with water retention, um, cell renewal, and plumping that skin up to where the cellulite looks a little bit better. So if you combine those two, um, not one right after the other, but you can dry brush and then put on the cream. Don't put on the cream and then dry brush because it is called dry brushing. It's not on dry skin. But click on that link and see how I do that. So that's my next thing that I like to do. This is a foam roller. This you've seen in every gym and it's, it's made so that you release the fascia. Now remember the fascia are those springs that connect the top layer of the skin to the bottom. And when those fascist cords are tight, it makes those dimples. So this, by rolling your skin, by rolling out your legs and your butt, you can actually roll away your cellulite. It's crazy. But if more people in the gym knew that not only does it help with sports recovery um, and with stretching, that it also reduced cellulite, I think there'd be a lot more women rolling when they're in the gym. The next treatment that I use, which I did in a video on it called Endermology, the cellulite treatment that really works. Make sure you check out that video. It's not gonna hurt the elasticity of the skin. It doesn't no, go up that far. It's, it's not. It's so actually, does it break that fascia bond? It does. It okay. breaks that down and it stimulates those fibroblasts too to firm that skin. And that's what we wanna do. How many treatments do you think that this takes before you see results? 
in general, about six treatments, you really start to see the results. And again, that is a technician that is literally rolling out your skin. And it works by sucking your skin up, smoothing it out, releasing that fascia. It makes your whole skin look a lot less dimple. But again, like many of these treatments, it helps with lymphatic drainage. It helps reduce a little bit of the fat pockets. It helps with water retention. It helps with releasing toxins in your body. Um, or out of your body, I mean, and um, it helps, it therefore helps reduce the appearance of cellulite. Now, the last treatment I have not done yet, it is a lot more invasive, it's called Selfina. Now, this treatment is done under local anesthesia in a doctor's office, and they literally cut those fibrous bands. So there's a device that goes on your thigh, they cut the bands, you could bruise up to like a month, you know, it's, it is more invasive, so you will have marks, you will have a little bit of bruising, but it's the only treatment that's FDA cleared to reduce the appearance of cellulite for one year. So just like everything else, you have to kind of combine a lot of different treatments, and we're, we're all in this together. So if you have a little bit of cellulite and you're afraid to like put on a bikini or, or it's like, you know, you're wearing your dresses longer and longer, just know that 95% of us are dealing with the exact same thing. But at the end of the day, if you got a few dimples on your ass, what's the big deal? Still put on the swimsuit, still put on the Daisy Dukes, let's get out there and enjoy life, and that is a really good way to live young. <laughs>